noses as the axle fixed. Henri, I think we may have overstayed our welcome in Boston. How do we get past those red coats? Follow me. this print shop when I hear voices coming from inside. So I ask myself, what's someone doing in a print shop at this hour on Sunday? You know what I told myself? I said, printing these. You have this all wrong, sir. These gentlemen are interested in my poetry. They wanted to see where it was published. Poetry? You? What do you take me for? Show them, Phyllis. Yes, let's hear this poetry of yours. Descend to earth, there place thy throne. To suffer man's afflicted son, each human heart inspire. To act in bounties unconfined, enlarge the close contracted mind, and fill it with thy fire. Right, so you're a poet. But I still believe these runs have something to do with spreading rebellion. And I aim to find the evidence. Tear the place apart if you have to. If I find so much as one poster, it's jail for the lot of you. You. Me? What's your name? Sarah Phillips, sir. Phillips, you say? I served under a Major Phillips during the Seven Years' War. Major Phillips is my father, sir. Is that so? Then you're an Englishwoman, Miss Phillips. It's your duty to tell me who made these posters. The truth now. Your father would expect you to tell the truth to an officer in the service of his king. I... 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 Spill it, girl. Well, I'm waiting, young lady. Where are my manners? You must be half frozen riding in this cold weather. I'll fix a pot of tea on the Franklin stove. There, the fire is stoked. We'll have hot tea and half a tip. Uh, and now what was that you asked me? Something about posters? Nothing, Lieutenant. The place is clean. No sign of them signs. Yeah, I don't have time for this. Come on, men. The rattle rousers are out getting away while we're dilly-dallying with children and poets and tea. <laughs> Quick, to the wagon, before they come back. Phyllis, how can we ever thank you? Keep fighting for freedom, that's how. Now be off. I'll keep watch until you're safely gone. <laughs> 